Yo, this is Christian and today we will talk about how long does it take to become a master at front-end development or what does it mean to become a master at front-end development. This comes from a guy who has been doing this for five years and I'm also teaching people how to become a highly paid uh, front-end developers for the past three years, okay? So I know a thing of two about this. So here's the deal with mastery. The more time you spend doing something, the less amount of skills you'll gain over time okay so there is a point of diminishing returns so i feel like i always make some sort of charts with my hand in the beginning when you start out you get uh, a dopamine rush okay you learn a lot of skills quickly because you don't know anything you might expect to get the same amount of skills every single month as you are progressing through your, throughout your career but it's not true right the more time you spend doing something the less skills you'll acquire with time okay so going from 80 percent to 85 percent is gonna take you the same amount of time as it took you to go from zero to 80 okay if you are at 85 percent and you want to go to 90 percent it's gonna take you the same amount of time or maybe double than the time it took you to go from zero to 85 percent why is that because that's how skills are acquired right it's nothing special to programming really it's the same principle applied for learning math it's the same principle applying for learning physics for uh, football or for whatever okay so programming is just a skill and the more you do it the less you'll get out of it okay so that's uh, that's an important thing to understand there's also a quote by uh, not Bruce Willis but Bruce Lee that says I don't fear the man who practiced 1,000 kicks once but I fear the man who practiced one kick 10,000 times okay so the idea behind this is that you want to figure out what are the fundamentals and I'm going to lay down for you the fundamentals of front-end development. You want to figure out those and you want to practice those skills from different angles all the time so you can have a better perspective, a better like point of view. So you want to have like a bird's eye view over an application that you are making rather than being stuck into some detail. Okay, When you become a master, you start seeing everything from the top, right? Instead of... Uh, being close to the ground when you're a junior yes you see everything from the ground because you don't have yet that experience okay now i'm gonna tell you how to get the experience in just a bit what are the fundamentals of uh, front-end development uh, in my opinion okay so arrays objects uh, user events and api calls if you open literally any application from youtube to facebook to instagram to twitter you'll see that you have arrays okay if you're on youtube all the recommended videos, that's that's an array, okay? And then each video, it's an object. Whenever you type in something in the search bar, that's a user event. When you click on something, that's a user event. Then API calls. How do you think we're gonna fetch the recommended videos for you? We're gonna make an API call and the server is gonna give us the data and then we're gonna display that data on the screen. That's how it works and these are the basics. Now, you can go ahead and Google or YouTube uh, this these concepts and you'll figure out everything you need to know in like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. You know exactly what an API call is, what an object is, what an array is, what a user event is. You'll figure out this really, really quickly. The thing is, you need to understand that if you just do that, you won't get too deep into it. You're gonna have like a very thin understanding of, of those concepts. And what you wanna do is you wanna practice those things from different angles, combining them together. And to do that, to get that sort of experience, you have to work on a project long term. Everyone in this space is recommending you to work on projects to build real life skills. And I cannot stress that enough. That's super important, okay? I agree with that statement 100%. To take this further, you have to practice working on one single project for three to four months. Why is that important? Well, as you build that project up, you'll start to have difficulties. You'll start to learn or realize that you haven't structured your project properly. You start to realize that the basics that you knew, they're everywhere, but they start to become overwhelming, okay? And you start to think about, okay, how can I do this better? How can I prevent certain things from happening in, in the future, okay? How can I prevent not getting a bug here? Or now I'm clicking on this, X thing happens, but then I have a problem over here. How can I prevent that? And you start thinking like that and you start to understand how to manipulate these objects, how to manipulate these arrays, how to make everything work in your favor, if that makes sense. But that takes time and that takes working on a single project for a long, long time. You want to replicate your learning experience 
with what you do in the real world. This idea of working on a single project comes from working on a single project in the real world, okay? When you'll get your first job, you'll probably work on a project for months, if not years. The first six months will be fairly daunting, okay? It's gonna be fairly difficult for you to understand everything, but then at some point, you'll know your way around it. You'll know exactly, okay, I need to implement this feature, I can go in there and I can start applying it straight away. I need to fix this bug, or okay, I understand, I need to fix this part of the state. But then as time goes on, you will not get so many things uh, that you don't know. You're not gonna have so many aha moments or gotcha moments, you know. They will come less and less, okay? At some point for me, they used to come every three months. And then when that thing came, I understood it. And then I moved on. That's why I'm not really an advocate of learning too much theory and going into practice. One thing that I've learned was event bubbling. That was in my first job like many, many years ago. I had this button that was opening some sort of pop-up and I wanted to click on an item inside the pop-up but when I was doing that I was bubbling the event and then the pop-up was triggering an event on the button which was closing my pop-up so I had to figure out how to stop the propagation of an event okay so that's one thing that I've learned after that I did not need that thing at all but now I have it in the back of my head and if that happens I know where it is I know how to fix it I have an idea of how to approach Debugging, okay? You won't be writing as much code as you might think of in your first job, okay? Most of the time you'll spend debugging, okay? Besides the meetings, the stand-ups, the retros, the sprint plannings, etc., etc. Besides all that, you'll spend a lot of time debugging, trying to figure out what doesn't work, what works, why it works like that, trying to figure out what someone else did before you, trying to read some old code, trying to migrate, uh, old code base to a new uh, library or to a new version of the library. Maybe all your NPM packages are outdated, then you have to update them all and then everything's crashing. So you won't be building as much, but before you get your first job, you want at least to have an idea of how to build things so you can navigate your way around a project to figure out all these things, okay? But yeah, this is how you become a master, you know? working on one thing for a long, long term. And probably I've been talking about this before, but when I make a video, I don't make it necessarily for you to learn something new, but I make it for you to remind yourself of something that you already know. Because if I remind you, remind you all the time about the thing that you don't know, or the thing that you should be knowing, at some point it's gonna click and you'll be like, okay, now I have to do something about it. And then you'll figure out a way uh, to work around it, or if you don't wanna do that and you wanna do it faster, you can apply for a free consultation call. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, until next time, uh, see ya, you got this, cheers.